What's up guys? So most likely if you are watching this video is because you either want to start a business or you have already started one and you're new in the process. And first things first, props. It is a lot to take on the starting of a business and entrepreneurs are what makes the world go round. So to all the entrepreneurs out there or aspiring entrepreneurs, keep it up. That is the motivation for this entire video is to help you stay motivated in your business and to give you the motivation needed to start that venture that you're considering right now. This channel is all for people who want to get better with their personal finances, potential entrepreneurs, anybody who is wanting to learn about investing and keep up with the financial world. So if you're into any of those things, please consider subscribing. 2020 has been a heck of a year, and if you're thinking about starting a business, it can seem even more daunting. But don't give up. I'm going to talk about a few of the businesses that I've started, how one of them fell completely on its face, but it still gave me the motivation to go on and continue down another route of starting a business. So first off, there's a lot of reasons to start a business. You could see a need that you want to fill. You could want more freedom and to be your own boss. You could enjoy the creation process of starting a new business. Or you could just say, hey, I want to make side income. I want to have extra income that I can have on a monthly basis. And honestly, all of them are good reasons. They're all good things. And so first off, don't overthink things when you are starting a business. Just jump in. I've seen so many people fail at starting a business before they even start the business because they're so worried about what's the right thing to do or when the right time is to jump into a business. When starting a business, the best thing that you can do is start now. Do something. It may not be the best thing that you can do, but it's a lot better than worrying and wondering about what the best thing to do is. So I was that person who was so stressed out about when to start a business or exactly what the best thing to do when starting a business is that I stopped. I had paralysis by analysis, so I just was overanalyzing things and it stopped me from pursuing businesses. But I, at that time, I was also getting some great education as far as starting a business goes because I was working for a large CPA firm that's a certified public accounting firm, and I was doing financial statement audits. So I would go into these companies and I would see how they were ran, and I would see all these people and they'd give me great motivation because I had clients anywhere from you know eight million in revenue to over a billion dollars in revenue. And the one thing that was motivating is in all of those instances, when I got to see all of their accounting records, the people who made the most money were the people who started the business. So even if finances aren't your sole reason on starting a business, they are definitely a strong one. To, so to be able to know that you know, in a business, most likely the people who make the most money are the owners. It's the people who took the risk and created the business. So if you are worried about that risk, you also got to think about the positive. You got to think about the reward of starting your own business. Not only will you get the reward financially if the business takes off and does well, but you also get the reward of working in an industry that you love. Because most likely if you're going to start a business and if you are starting a business and something you don't like, I would say pump the brakes. It's not a very great choice, but if you are starting a business, most likely it is something that you are passionate about, which is awesome. That's another reward of starting a business is you get to do whatever you want to do. So I analyzed and analyzed and analyzed and it sadly, it took me a couple of years, you know, working in that CPA firm before I was finally like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and start a business. And I had read enough and knew enough that I was like, okay, it's got to be a business that I am passionate about, something that I enjoy being around. And I am a big outdoorsman. I love hunting. I love fishing. And so I thought to myself, man, I'm going to start a camouflage clothing line. So I pumped money into it. I threw, I don't know, at least a couple thousand at it. I had somebody come and design a camo pattern for me. I spent many countless nights staying up till two, three in the morning, talking to manufacturers 
in different countries to see if they could manufacture this camel line that I wanted to do. And they sent me a bunch of stuff. And this went on for a number of months. And then it just kind of like fell flat on its face, honestly, because I don't know why. I, For some reason, things just didn't work out. It started failing and it just got to a point where I was like, you know what, maybe I'm done with this because this isn't obviously panning out. And really the turning point for me in deciding to stop, which, you know, sometimes people say, hey, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. But I think there are times when quitting can be beneficial. And this is an instance where it was. I actually had started an Airbnb in my shop and we decided to expand. We bought a trailer. I've made videos on those. I'll leave links in the description and hit one of them up in the cards. So we started an Airbnb. And that was successful enough that we decided, hey, let's go into a trailer. And then that was successful enough. I thought, you know what, let's buy a long-term rental. And I found this love of real estate, something that was really fun, really enjoyable, and brought great income and great success. So I quit camo. I stopped. It's still on the back burner. Maybe I'll do it. But I stopped because I thought, hey, there is a better opportunity and something that I love over here in real estate So I'm gonna jump into that and expand as quick as possible and as smart as possible. And so it was a good thing to quit. It was a good thing to do that because I found something more successful. Plus there's just great lessons in trying to start a business, even if it fails or takes time to, you know, get the wheels rolling and get things going. There are good lessons in that. And so I don't, I'm not mad about the camo company. I'm not upset about it. I think it was a great learning opportunity for me because there's great things and great business practices and even mindsets that I learned during that to always stay positive, even though, you know, after many countless nights of staying up till 3 a.m. and then also waking up at 7 a.m. to go to my normal job that I learned and it was a good thing. So like I said at the start of this video, my whole reasoning in making this video is to reach out to the entrepreneurs out there, those people thinking about starting a small business and saying, do not give up and go for it, jump in, because the best thing you can do is jump in. Even if you jump in and something falls flat on its face, you will learn and it'll give you the ability to go into something else and succeed at it and take those lessons and apply it into a new business and really grow something incredible. Like never in my wildest dreams did I think, you know what, I'm gonna start a camo company, something that I had been thinking about for a long time, number of years before I actually jumped in to do something, and then have it fail, but then at the same time as it's failing, I'm building up a real estate company that is doing phenomenal. So do not give up, jump in. If you think, man, I'm not smart enough, or man, I don't have enough time, or I don't have enough money, rearrange the priorities in your life. You can do it. You make time for the things that you love. And if you want to do what you love for a living, you will make time for it. You'll wake up early. You'll cut out the things that you don't need in your life so that you can jump into something that you love. Keep going. Stay motivated. Entrepreneurs are what make the world go round.